Gudrid Thorbjörnardóttir. Gudrid Thorbjörnardóttir, Icelandic, Guthrie Thurvith Forla Thorbjörnardóttir, born in 980 was an Icelandic explorer, born at Lagarbreka in Snæfellsnes, Iceland. She appears in the saga of Eric the Red and the saga of the Greenlanders, known collectively as the Vinland sagas. She and her husband Thorfinn or Karlsvni, led an expedition to Vinland where their son Snorra Thorfinnsson was born, believed to be the first European birth in the Americas outside of Greenland. In Iceland, Gudrid is known by her byname Vithforla, lit. Wide fared or far traveled. Biography As recorded in the saga of Eric the Red, Gudrid was the daughter of a chieftain by the name of Torbjörn of Lagarbreka. As the story goes, a young man by the name of Einar asked for her hand in marriage, but because his father was a slave, Gudrid's father refused to give her hand in marriage. Gudrid and her father promptly left Iceland and voyaged to Greenland to accompany Eric the Red. Thirty others went with them on the journey, but the group experienced complications due to poor weather, which slowed their progress during the summer. After this setback, illness plagued the group and half of the company died. Despite these failures, Gudrid and her father landed safely in Greenland in the winter. Although it is not mentioned in the saga of Eric the Red, according to the saga of the Greenlanders, at the time Gudrid was married to a Norwegian merchant named Thur. According to this account, Leif Eriksson rescued Gudrid and 15 men from Iskari, brought them safely to Bradalith, and invited Thur and Gudrid to stay there with him. That winter, Thur died of illness. In Eric the Red saga, Gudrid exemplifies the transition from the pagan Norse religion to Christianity. One winter, Gudrid, her father Torbjorn, and his companions feast at the home of Thorkel, who is visited by a seeress named Torbjörg. Torbjörg arrives at Thorkel's home, intending to carry out several magic rites, specifically ward songs, for which he needs the women present to help chant. Gudrid is the only woman present who knows the songs, having been taught them by her foster mother Haldis, but she tells Torbjörg that these are the sort of actions in which I intend to take no part, because I am a Christian woman. Dot with minimal effort, however, Torbjörg and Thorkel convince Gudrid that taking part in the chants will help the people present, and not damage her status as a Christian woman. Gudrid performs the songs with admirable skill. According to both sagas, Gudrid then married Thorstein Eriksson, Leif Eriksson's younger brother and Eric the Red's son. According to the saga of the Greenlanders, Gudrid then accompanied her husband on his quest to Vinland, with the hope that he could retrieve the body of his brother Thorvald. The two spent the winter in Lisafjord with a man by the name of Thorstein the Black and his wife Grimhild, but illness soon struck the group and both Grimhild and Gudrid's husband Thorstein died. According to this account, Thorstein temporarily rises from his dead bed to tell Gudrid that she will be married to an Icelander, and that they will have a long life together with many descendants. He stated that she would leave Greenland to go to Norway and then Iceland, and after a pilgrimage south, she would return to Iceland, where a church would be built near her farm. Dot according to the saga of Eric the Red, Thorstein makes the voyage to Vinland by himself, and it is only upon his return that the two marry. According to the saga, Thorstein had a farm and livestock in the western settlement at a place called Lisafjord and another man by the name of Thorstein, whose wife in this version is named Sigrid, owned a half share on this farm. The couple moved to the farm and, like in the saga of the Greenlanders, Thorstein died and told Gudrid of her future, although in this version he focuses more on the importance of Christianity, asking Gudrid to donate their money to a church or poor people. After his death, Gudrid moved back to Bradalith, where she married a merchant named Thorfinn Karlsvni, who is described in the saga of Eric the Red as being a man of good family and good means and a merchant of good repute. According to the saga of the Greenlanders, after their marriage, and at Gudrid's urging, the two led an attempt to settle Vinland with 60 men, 5 women, and a cargo of various livestock. While it is implied in the saga of Eric the Red that she accompanies him, Gudrid is never actually mentioned in the account of the journey. While in Vinland, the couple had a son whom they named Snorra Thorfinnsson, who is the first European reported to be born in the Western Hemisphere. Shortly after Snorra was born, the family traveled back to Greenland. According to the saga of Eric the Red, the couple had another son named Torbjorn. Although it is only mentioned in the saga of the Greenlanders, Thorfinn died, leaving Gudrid to live as a widow. Christianization of Iceland during this period meant that religious conversions were common. Gudrid converted to Christianity and, when Snorra married, went on a pilgrimage to Rome. While some have discussed the possibility that Gudrid spoke with the Pope on her journey, there is no proof of it. While she was away, Snorra built a church near the estate, fulfilling the prediction that Thorstein had made. 
When she came back from Rome, she became a nun and lived in the church as a hermit. Descendants Her son Snor Thorfinnsson had two children, a daughter named Halfred, and a son named Thorgir. Halfred was the mother of Thorlok Renolfsson, bishop of Skalholt in the south of Iceland. Thorgir was the father of Ingvold, the mother of the first bishop Brand. One of the descendants of her son Torbjorn, Bjorn Gilson, was also a bishop of Halar. Modern versions, 